Yo, what's up, everybody? It's your boy Slim, aka Mr. Different. We are back with another video today. Yeah, I've been gone for a little bit, but you know, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. Hope y'all had a good, you know, Christmas and all that. Y'all enjoyed your family, got some good gifts and all that. But anyway, let's get into the video today. I'm going to be showing y'all how to make a 808 sound using nothing but silence. So basically, this is going to teach you how to make your own custom 808 sounds. I know a lot of y'all want them nice banging 808s. I'm going to show you how to get a good start to make an 808. And you, from there, you can go on and just shape it to how you want. And you can have pretty much limitless 808 sounds without having to download a bunch of kits and all that and get them sounds, get the unique sounds you want. So first of all, we'll start with our silent. And this is the initial, the initial preset. So you just go to initialize and they give you this crappy little buzz sound. All right, so we're going to start from scratch. First, we're going to turn the polys all the way up because it's just good. I like to turn my polys all the way up just because it just helps me out. And if you play chords that don't you know glitch out on you so we're going to start with a sine wave and we're going to just lower the octaves by two that's going to give us this a nice sub sound and we're just going to raise the voices up because we want more beef to it there we go just have more beef to it and we're going to leave the retrig on and next we're going to come to the oscillate well, we're going to go to the envelope now this is why we're going to get the 808 sound so what we're going to do is we want to turn the attack all the way low Turn the decay all the way up, the sustain all the way down, and just give it just a little bit of release. This will give it the initial 808 sound. Like, just, like I said, just a little bit of release, not too much, but this will give us that, that pure 808 sound, just plain Jane 808 sound. As you can hear. And now we're gonna go to the oscillator two. We're gonna add a triangle wave right here. Add some voices to it, and we're gonna bring that down too, and just leave everything alone. And from there, that's pretty much now you have this sound. Yeah, that nice distorted 808 sound. You can blend it if you want to. You know, if you don't want too much distortion. You know, I like I like my 808s distorted, so I leave mine. But it's all preferably the taste at that point. And that's just that's so far. That's that's pretty much it. Now it comes to the point where we shape the sound the way we want to but that's the initial sound so what we're going to do we're going to add a low pass filter and we're going to bring up some of the resonance and we're going to bring down just a little bit uh, just leave the cutoff alone and we're going to add some drive to it give it a little more distortion this There we go. See, it sound like an 808 now. All right, we're gonna add. We're gonna go to. We're gonna add a little bit more resonance right here. And warm drive. Nah, no warm drive. And that okay. Then we're gonna add. We're gonna go to the miscellaneous one right here. We're gonna go to amp envelope A, and then we're gonna turn it to the cutoff, to cutoff A, and we're gonna turn it up just a little bit. That's gonna give it that more greedy 808 sound. And then we can add, man, let's add some distortion. Like I said, at this point, I'm just pretty much playing by ear. Too much. Bring it down. Ooh, there we go. Yeah, a little too much. Bring the amount down. There we go. And then we're going to add some EQ. We're going to boost. Going to give it some, give it some, yeah, 12 dB around around about 60 hertz yeah and then we're gonna and leave the treble alone and we're going to add some glide to it yeah turn the slide on add some glide to it And that's pretty much it right there. You have your own custom made quick and easy 808 sound. And from there, like I said, you can go into, so you can go to the mixer, you know, add it. So we can go right here. Uh, boop, boop. I'll show you. Go right here. Add to the mixer. We can add some saturation to it. Where is my saturation? Add some saturation to it. Boop, 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 boop. You know. And do some... 
some gentle saturation. Bring it, there you go. And then we can add some EQ to it. And then we can add, I don't know, some compression to it, maybe. Let's see, add some compression to it. Boop, 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 boop. And right there, there you go. You just, at that point, once you do this initial part, you pretty much have the 808 sound right there. So I'm gonna leave it on screen so I can look at it while I talk a little bit. But that's basically it. Make it basically making a quick, easy, custom 808 sound using nothing but silence. So with this, you know, you have a lot more possibilities and options. You don't have to do exactly what I did. You can just start off with the initial sound and boom, there you go. And that way, you know, you can just pretty much shape the sound to your taste and pretty much make the 808 sound sound unique like because there's no point of you know you running through all your 808 like say i got a ton of 808 sounds in here i mean I, I use them over and over and over and over but you know sometimes you want a, a new unique sound and doing this where you know it's a little bit more time but you have a unique sound and you might make you a signature 808 that you know nobody else has and you know you can i don't know market it off for sale or whatever but anyway hope <laughs> anyway i hope that helped y'all right now you know i said quick and easy dirty kind of you know sound design tip for y'all 808s and salad hope y'all enjoyed it please you know leave me a like comment you know subscribe y'all know who it is it's your boy slim aka mr different mr not motivated by the view but the money but the like comment subscribe and view so keep them coming and let's still let's go into 2016 heavy you know do some more things because like i'm gonna give y'all update videos soon and have y'all some nice things in the future so i hope y'all enjoyed this video and i shall catch y'all next time peace